Ten times people disregarded orders and changed history. Obeying the chain of command is critical in the military, but history shows that sometimes, disobedience has made all the difference. Soldiers and commanders have gone against direct orders for a variety of reasons, whether personal, moral, or strategic. From saving lives to shifting the tides of war, these acts of defiance have left lasting impacts. Here are 10 times when people disregarded orders and altered history. Fact number 1. A reckless advance that nearly doomed the Union. On July 2, 1863, during the Battle of Gettysburg, Union General Daniel Sickles disobeyed direct orders and moved his corps from a strategic defensive position on Cemetery Ridge to an exposed area along Emmitsburg Road. His unauthorized maneuver left key positions vulnerable and resulted in heavy casualties, forcing a desperate defense by other Union forces. While Sickles claimed his actions prevented disaster, historians largely disagree, noting that his insubordination endangered the entire Union line. Sickles' controversial legacy is marked by his recklessness and the high cost paid by his men due to his ambition. Remarkably, Sickles lost his leg in the ensuing battle, yet he had the audacity to send his amputated limb to the Army Medical Museum in Washington, D.C., where he would frequently visit it. His dramatic and self-promoting nature, combined with his infamous prior acquittal for murdering his wife's lover, the first use of the temporary insanity defense in U.S. history, only added to his notoriety as one of the most colorful and contentious figures of the Civil War. Number 2. The Man Who Said No to Nuclear War On September 26, 1983, during the height of Cold War tensions, Soviet Lieutenant Colonel Stanislav Petrov was on duty at Serpukov-15, a secret bunker near Moscow. The Soviet early warning system suddenly detected an incoming American intercontinental ballistic missile, which was followed by more missile detections. Protocol demanded immediate retaliation, but Petrov hesitated, doubting the system's reliability. He reasoned that the U.S. would not launch just five missiles if they intended to start a nuclear war. His decision to declare the alert a false alarm prevented a likely retaliatory strike that could have resulted in a catastrophic nuclear exchange, potentially killing hundreds of millions. Petrov's calm judgment under extreme pressure was later recognized when he received the World Citizen Award in 2004 and the Dresden Peace Prize in 2013, though he always downplayed his actions, stating, I was simply doing my job. Number 3. The submarine standoff that nearly triggered Armageddon. During the Cuban Missile Crisis in October 1962, a U.S. Navy task force detected the Soviet submarine B-59 near Cuba and began dropping depth charges to force it to surface, unaware that it was armed with a nuclear torpedo. The sub's captain, Valentin Savitsky, believed war had broken out and prepared to launch the torpedo, which would have triggered a full-scale nuclear conflict. However, a launch required unanimous consent from the submarine's top officers, and Vasily Arkhipov, the flotilla commander aboard, refused to agree. Arkhipov's dissent prevented what could have been one of the most devastating moments in human history. This incident, largely unknown for decades, was only revealed in the early 2000s, shedding light on Arkhipov's critical role in averting disaster. Number 4 tanks against orders, a risk that paid off. On April 24, 1951, during the Korean War, Lt. Dave Tyke of the 8th Ranger Company found himself in a critical situation. The Chinese Spring Offensive had overwhelmed American forces, and a small unit of Rangers led by Capt. E.C. Rivera was trapped behind enemy lines on Hill 628. Rivera radioed for help, but the American command had ordered a retreat. Tyke, defying orders from his superiors, dispatched four tanks to assist the stranded rangers. His bold move enabled Rivera's men to escape certain death, demonstrating that sometimes, disobeying orders is the right call when lives are at stake. Number 5. The Unarmed Medic Who Became a Battlefield Legend Desmond Doss, a devout Seventh-day Adventist and conscientious objector, enlisted in the U.S. Army during World War II but refused to bear arms. Despite facing ridicule from fellow soldiers, Doss served as a medic, determined to save lives without taking any. During the brutal Battle of Okinawa in 1945, Doss single-handedly rescued about 75 wounded soldiers under heavy enemy fire, lowering them one by one down a cliff while risking his own life. For his extraordinary bravery, 
Doss became the first conscientious objector to receive the Medal of Honor. His story was later immortalized in the film Hacksaw Ridge, highlighting his exceptional courage and commitment to his beliefs. Number 6. Bugger the CO, One Man's Charge Against Orders. During the Battle of Saddleburg in New Guinea, November 1943, Australian Lieutenant Thomas Diver Derrick's unit was ordered to retreat after facing intense Japanese resistance. Derrick, known for his tenacity, defied his commanding officer's orders, reportedly saying, Bugger the CO, just give me 20 minutes and we'll have this place. Armed with grenades, Derrick charged up a steep hill, taking out 10 enemy positions single-handedly and securing a crucial victory for his battalion. For his valor, Derek was awarded the Victoria Cross, though he would later die from injuries sustained at the Battle of Tarakan in 1945. Number 7. The General Who Refused to Burn a City. In August 1944, as Allied forces closed in on Paris, Adolf Hitler ordered the city's destruction, demanding that historic landmarks and bridges be blown up to prevent Allied capture. The German military governor, General Dietrich von Koltitz, defied the Führer's command, believing it served no strategic purpose and would only lead to unnecessary devastation. He later claimed that he wanted to save Paris from senseless destruction and that Hitler was delusional in his final days. While his motives remained debated, von Koltitz's decision preserved one of the world's most iconic cities and prevented untold loss of cultural heritage. His defiance was documented in his memoirs, where he described the intense pressure he faced and the critical moments that led him to disobey the direct orders of the Nazi regime. Number 8. A Secret Betrayal to Save a Nation's Future As the war neared its end, Hitler's Nero decree ordered the destruction of all German infrastructure to prevent its use by advancing Allied forces. Albert Speer, Hitler's minister of armaments and close confidant, recognized the sheer destructiveness of the decree and secretly sabotaged it. Speer issued counterorders to preserve Germany's remaining industrial and civilian infrastructure, fearing that the decree would doom millions of Germans to unnecessary suffering. After the war, Speer portrayed himself as a reluctant follower of Hitler who took a stand against his most extreme commands, though his role in the Nazi regime remains highly controversial. His testimony at the Nuremberg trials highlighted this defiance, but many historians argue he manipulated his narrative to appear more heroic than he was. Number 9. The Colonel Who Defied a Brutal Order in World War I. During a failed French offensive in March 1915, General Giraud Revelhock ordered his artillery commander, Colonel Raoul Barubi, to fire on French troops who had refused to advance under heavy German machine gun fire. Barubi outright refused, unwilling to kill his own men. The situation later escalated when Revelhack executed four corporals for cowardice. Barubi's defiance remains a stark example of the harsh realities of World War I, where commanders were often forced to make impossible choices between obedience and morality. The incident was so shocking that it later inspired the famous anti-war film Paths of Glory, highlighting the brutal and often senseless nature of military command during the Great War. Number 10. The Spark That Ignited a Rebellion The Indian Mutiny of 1857, a major uprising against British rule, was ignited by a seemingly small act of defiance. Indian sepoys, who made up much of the British East India Company's forces, were ordered to use new Enfield rifle cartridges rumored to be greased with pork and beef fat anathema to both Hindu and Muslim soldiers. Refusing to violate their religious beliefs, 90 sepoys of the 3rd Bengal Light Cavalry refused the order, leading to their court-martial. The incident sparked widespread revolt, marking the beginning of India's fight for independence, which would culminate in the end of British rule in 1947.